Joe Budden has made an effort to put Kai Sinit under pressure, but he hasn't exactly had the reaction he was hoping for. Sinit made an appearance on a live stream on Thursday, August 15, alongside Queen's Flip, Budden's podcast co-host, who attempted to resolve their differences by having the two characters speak on the phone. I gotta tell Joe. No, you're just here. act show. I gotta tell Joe you're here. Hello. <laughs> What's up, Joe? Real quick, no beef, no smoke, relax. Kai's standing right here saying that you don't love him, but I told him you love him. Can you just... I got, yo, dude, I got all the love in the world for Kai Sinat. See? That is a myth. Yo, what's yeah. going on, Mr. Button? Don't ever believe otherwise. See? Kai Sinat, I love you. Everything you're doing, my kids love. Don't ever believe Joe Button don't love you. Told you. All right, okay. I, I just think I just be don't thinking that you don't love me, bro. Nah, I told Yachty I love you. I told Ski I love you. Like I told niggas I love you. He love you. I didn't man. like the I didn't like the 14th Street PlayStation giveaway. That's all. But I love I love everything you're doing. He Please. supports you, nigga. Stop playing with my man. Okay. All right, all right, Joe. All right, Joe. Yeah, nigga. Just show me love, nigga. Fuck out of here. Yeah. All, right, all right, Joe. Show my man love. Show my man love. All right, Joe. Shout out to Joe. Shout out to Joe. I got all the love in the world for Kai Sinit. Button says Kai over the phone. That is not true. Never hold any other beliefs. I adore you, Kai Sinit, for everything you do. My children adore you. Never think that Joe Budden doesn't care about you. However, Sinit did not seem very persuaded by Budden's offer of reconciliation, responding, Okay, Joe. I'm simply thinking, bro, that you don't care about me, Sinit expressed his agreement to Queen's Flip's peace offering by saying all right, Joe, several times. But as soon as Budden hung up, the popular Twitch streamer stated, I feel like he's capping, though, the well-known streamer was previously chastised by Joe Budden for his disastrous PlayStation 5 giveaway in New York City last year. Which erupted into a brawl that resulted in numerous injuries and arrests. He said, that stunt he pulled on 14th Street in Union Square, that's where it started for me, earlier this month when talking about Sinit on Lil Yachty's A Safe Place podcast. As an Atlanta-based Anga, on a Friday at Union Square, New York City, on 14th Street. Yes, as a New Yorker, I had serious problems with that. In a February podcast episode, the former Slaughterhouse rapper also blasted Sinit for not understanding who Killer Mike is. Not all of you tiny streaming and gas run shit. Put an end to it. That little streamy mosh pit, that marked card, whatever you and gas are doing over there, none of it matters to us. You fucking paradise? He exclaimed, Unopia, Enga, in reference to the streamer's assertion that Travis Scott, not Mike, ought to have taken home the Grammy for Best Rap Album. Oh, it's not about us, the tiny fuckity fucks finally realized after taking a glance in the mirror, he said. No, grown-ups are not allowed. Engas had actual executives and business guys fly garbage on them. Just shut up for once. I have had enough of these Engas. Killer Mike needs us to hurry behind him.